morning. Today is Tuesday, May 24th, A Day. I'm Raj Patel. I'm Juliana Chernick. And this is Kennedy Live. For some school announcements, there will be a debate team meeting after school on Wednesday. Anybody, anybody interested in playing football in the fall must see Mr. Rossich in room 119 during homeroom today or tomorrow. He has a message and schedule from the coach. Join Kennedy Catholic as we tour Spain and France during next year during Easter break. We'll be visiting many different historic and ancient sites and staying in four-star hotels. Please see Mr. Glibowski for more information. Students are reminded that Kennedy will be offering weekend regents review courses in both math and science in June. Students were emailed the registration form with more details. The deadline to submit payment and register is Thursday, May 26th. Space is limited. Any questions, please contact Mr. Keeley. Now for this day in history with William. I'm William Kasberg and this is This Day in History. In 1543, Polish astronomer Nicholas Copernicus dies. He was the first modern European scientist to propose the Earth went and other planets revolved around the Sun. In 18, no, in 1775, John Hancock is elected the first president of the Second Continental Congress. And something interesting for us New Yorkers, in 1883, the Brooklyn Bridge is finally open after 14 years of construction. And in 1964, a referee's call in a soccer match between Peru and Argentina sparks a riot, which results in over 300 people being killed and 500 injured. That's all for this day in history. Now back over to the anchors. In world and local news, Today is National Asparagus Day. It takes three years for it to be fully grown. A new report says 82% of Americans who eat hamburgers believe them to be a good source of nutrients. The numbers were even high among millennials, a generation that believes that healthiness of a menu is important when they choose a restaurant. Most, most health experts agree that hamburgers aren't health food with a high concentration of fat. They're a pretty good source of protein, iron, and vitamin B12. We should see the lowest Memorial Day weekend prices for gasoline since 2005. This can be credited to the drop in crude oil prices over the past two years. 38 million of us are expected to travel on the weekend and almost 90% will be on the road. The national average for a gallon of gas now stands at $2.28. You, you won't find much more environmentally friendly way to get pizza than this. Mini's Pizzeria in Williamsburg, Brooklyn tweeted out a picture of a pizza box made out of a pie on Wednesday. The photo shows how a small rectangular crust pizza with a smaller traditional New York style pepperoni pie inside. Uh, I'm not going to say that name, said Vinny's will gladly make their pizza box style pie for anyone who wants one and will be available for de delivery. Each pie, which includes a second pie inside the box, will cost about $40. Here's what's new in sports. The Raptors beat the Cavs 106-99. DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Lowry combined for 67 points. They evened the series 2-2. Two two. The Warriors look to even their series with the Thunder tonight at 9 p.m. on TNT. The Mets beat the Nationals 7-1. Bartolo Colon earned his fourth win. And now over to Tech Tuesday. Hello, my name is Nolan Rachansky and this is Tech Tuesday. Uh, Google has come up with a plan to destroy the iPhone with uh, something they call Project Aura, which is a phone with a Lego-like structure where you can disassemble parts. Uh, for example, uh, switching out the camera for maybe something with more megapixels or something. In theory, it sounds like a pretty cool idea. I think it's kind of a waste of money because you're just going to be losing parts and you're going to have to buy new ones, though. So it's a waste of space, personally. Uh, now back to the anchors. And Varsity Baseball has a game on Thursday at Zavarian at 4 p.m. Well, I'm Raj Patel. I'm Juliana Chernick. And this has been Kennedy Live. Have a great day.